Hi everyone, so this is the second pack of the Integration 2, which was split in half because there was an issue with copy in it. Uh, this feels fixed, it's got a lot of exam questions on the back of it. It is only potentially two lessons, maybe a little bit more. Um, right, so let's have a go, so this is our lesson one. So we all like integration and differentiation, so that's good. So let's have a go at this then. So the first one says 5 over x squared, so I'm going to write it as 5 lots of x to the power minus 2. So if I integrate it, it becomes 5 lots of x to the power minus 1 over minus 1 plus c. If I be careful with it, because the divide by a minus 1 is the same as minus 5. But then the x to the minus 1 is over x. And people get really bogged down in the divide by minus 1 and the power of minus 1. This one here, the next one, well, I can't take that up because if I integrate it, the x to the power is 0. But it is a log. So what I've got, so my way of doing it, is it's like f dash of x over f of x. If it looks like that, it becomes a log of whatever's on the bottom. That's a proper way for us. But the way I do it is what you've got, so what I've got is a 5. What I want is if I differentiate the x, it's 1, and then it's log of whatever's on the bottom. So it is just 5 log x plus c. So what I've got over what I want. And I've said this before, so it's not it's not nothing that you've not seen before. Log of a bottom. There. And this one kind of does the same. This is a log one, isn't it? Because I ask myself, if I see a fraction, if I differentiate the bottom, is it the top? So for this one here, if I differentiate the bottom, it's a multiple of the top. So what I've got is a 7. What I want, if I differentiate the bottom, is a 3. So that becomes what I've got over what I want times by log of whatever is on the bottom. There. If I'm being really, really picky, it should be the modulus sign. But our exam board doesn't seem to give us stuff about that, so we don't bother. But we should really use the modulus sign. Because a log graph only works for positive values of x. So if I had x in there as minus 2, you're looking at minus, what would it be, minus 2 in the bracket, actually. And that wouldn't work, so I really should do it. Right, so that one was okay, that was a log. But look at this one, if I differentiate the bottom, it isn't a multiple of the top. So then I've just got to see it as... 2x minus 1 to the minus oh, 3, I think. So the 8's just a number, and I add 1 to the power. I divide by the new power, and I also divide by, inside of the bracket, differentiated. That's what this is saying here. Add 1 to the power, divide by the new power, then divide by the bracket differentiated. There. It's the reverse of what we did with the chain rule. So I've got a minus 4 on the bottom. I've got 8 divided by minus 4 is minus 2. I've got power minus 2. With a plus C on it there. So that's okay. I think this is going to be a five minute. No, I'm not alright. I'm in a different room. Got ten minute vids on the door here. You'll be glad to know. Now, this one's upside down. It doesn't work like the logs there, where if you differentiate the bottom, it's a multiple at the top. That doesn't work because it's kind of like it's got one bit on the bottom. So I need to split it as a 5x over x squared plus a 6 over x squared. And then if I tidy it up, that's a 5 over x, which will become 5 log x. And I've got to see that as 6x to the minus 2. So I'm going to have a 5 ln x plus 6 
x to the minus 1 over minus 1 plus c. So that will give me as a final answer, so 6 divided by minus 1 is minus 6, x to the power minus 1 is over x with a plus c. Oh good, we're still recording. So logs again, a bit more logs. If I differentiate the bottom, is it a multiple of the top? So let's have a think about it. So what, what I've got is x squared plus 1. What I want, if I differentiate that, is 3 lots of x squared plus 3. So it's a bit dodgy now. So what I've got is x squared plus 1. What I wanted, if I differentiate the bottom, is a 3x squared plus 3. And then it's log of whatever's on the bottom, which was an x cubed plus 3x. Now if you look, being a bit sneaky, the bottom line is 3 lots. So they just cancel. I've got a third of log. But what I've got is x squared plus 1. What I wanted is the bottom line cancel, up, cancel down, and that works. Same with this one. What I've got is sine 3x. What I want, if I differentiate cos, so sine cos minus sine minus cos, differentiate cos 3x is a minus 3 cos 3x, uh, 3 sine 3x, sorry. So what I've got is a sine 3x on top. What I want is a minus 3 sine 3x log of whatever's on the bottom. Oops, missed my 5. Plus c. And the sine x's will cancel, and I've got minus a third log of whatever's on the bottom. And like I said, really I should use the modulus brackets because it's nicer. There we go. Do you reckon of that? So you just got to remember them really. Differentiate the bottom, is it a multiple of the top? If it isn't, it's not a log. Right, oh, got more now. Well, this one's a little bit harder, so I'm going to start a new bit. Well, it's not harder, it's just more. It's more in it. So I'll start another bit before we get towards it. Okay, bye-bye.